Hi everybody, Joe from ForcesOfFitness.com. You're here at the Performance Library. We're going to talk about uh, tennis elbow. And for tennis players, you know, a lot of them feel really strong in their legs, really strong in their strokes, and um, they have one thing hindering them, one thing holding them back, tennis elbow. Right? What is tennis elbow? Uh, so it's epicondylitis is what it's commonly known as, right? Uh, what we know about the elbow and elbow pain is you have, when you have pain on the um, kind of inside of the elbow here, it's a lack of external rotation. When we have uh, pain on the inside of the elbow, or epicondyl kind of area here in between the soft tissue, that is a lack of internal rotation. Okay, so we're going to talk about uh, a few ways to clean up internal rotation, soft tissue wise, right, getting into the muscles, um, also stretching, and then strengthening, right? Uh, for today, we're just going to focus on a few things you could do before you start playing tennis on the court if you're already here and you don't have a whole gym in front of you. Okay, uh, so let's get into that now. Uh, first thing, first thing I want to say is um, you want to make sure that you're icing. Okay, so you have inflammation, you want to ice four times a day until the ice melts. Right? That's number one. Number two, how can we clean up internal rotation so that which is the root of the problem? How do we clean that up so that you don't have the same problem reoccurring? Right? We want to get to the root cause. Uh, so for today, we're going to go over a few exercises. We'll start with soft tissue work. Okay, and then we'll get into stretching. Now, um, for you, those of you who don't have a lacrosse ball, you should go get one. You can get it at Models, you can get it at uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, uh, any kind of sporting goods place that has lacrosse equipment, right? So just pick one of these up. It's easy. You put it right in your bag. Uh, you take it to the tennis court, okay? And um, so I'm going to go over a few things you can do with lacrosse ball. Don't worry if you don't have one. I'm going to go over more, okay? So uh, the first thing to clean up internal rotation with the tennis ball is uh, we want to get on the ground, okay? So we'll come down. We can uh, literally just take this ball, we want to get inside of the chest, right? Inside of the pec minor. So we can just get here on the knees. Put your chest on the ball, okay? Roll around and then what you want to do is you're going to take your hand and bring it into internal rotation, okay? While you're keeping your ball on the pec minor. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like on the ground. It should feel maybe 7, 8 out of 10 in pain, right? You're going to roll around. Give yourself a few minutes. Get there early. Give yourself 3 to 5 minutes of rolling, right? Try to pull your shoulder back actively as you're staying on that ball. Uh, second thing we could do uh, with the lacrosse ball is work on the extensors, right? We want to create good length in the soft tissue here. So between the wrist and the elbow, you want to make sure that these muscles have enough length and elasticity to um, take most of the brunt. We don't want the elbow getting pulled on too hard, right? So let's let's clean up some um, some of your extensors and, and some of your extension and flexion right with the ball right now. Okay, so you're just going to take and come to a kneeling position, get your knees wide. The best thing to do really is use a table if you have one in front of you. Um, this way you can post up a little bit better. Since we're working bare minimum today, okay, we're just going to come onto the ground, right? We'll be here, we're just going to work, kind of glide into external rotation of the shoulder while staying on the ball, right? So I'm taking my opposite hand to support, I'm going to put it on my forearm, and I'm just going to work into extension, right? From my wrist all the way up to my elbow. Okay, and we can get our flexors the same way, or extensors the same way, sorry. If you find a spot that's really uh, irritated or, or tight, hurts, it's painful, give it some time, give it some attention, stay on it a few seconds and breathe, right? Right here is really junky for me, right? So I'm just gonna hang out, breathe, and try to balance on that area. Or you can get right up into where it hurts, right into the elbow, gently. Okay, we just go through some uh, flexion and extension. Third soft tissue technique we're gonna do is internal and external rotation. Okay, we're gonna be side lying. I'm gonna use this bag to rest my neck on. Okay, so just use your tennis bag, come onto your side, right? Rest your head. And what I'm gonna do is have this ball on my lateral delt, and I'm gonna go into internal and external rotation, keeping my shoulder against the ball, okay? So essentially the ball will be right here on my lateral delt, okay? 
I'll be going into internal and external rotation, keeping the pressure on the ball. Okay, so it'll look like this. You want to make sure you spend a few minutes on each soft tissue technique. Okay, this isn't something that's going to take care of itself in 30 seconds. You need to give it the time it deserves. Give yourself three to five minutes per uh, movement if you can. Right? If you only have two, it's better than no it's better than nothing. Right? But uh, three to five minutes is ideal. Remember, we're doing bare minimum technique right now. You're just using a lacrosse ball. You showed up at a tennis court. You forgot to get your soft tissue work in, and you're just doing it right now. Okay? Ideally, you want to get to a gym. Right? Um, so, you know, this is what you're going to do for your bare minimum uh, soft tissue technique. Um, and then stay tuned, we'll show you what to do when you have the whole gym and all the tools available at your disposal.